Hi friends, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles and I have something I have been really excited to share with you guys. So we are going to do a one page wonder today and you can make two of these cute little uh, folio journaling spots, whatever you want to call them. Um, look at that out of one piece of 12 by 12 paper. So it's a one page wonder, but you can make two out of one piece of paper. So really, you know, it's a, it's a half, <laughs> it's, it's a half piece. So what I'm really excited though about this is I'm also showing you guys first look at my new Christmas holiday junk journal kit, my first one that I've made for the holidays. So, this kit is called Santa and Friends, and I'm gonna show it to you really quick. We won't spend too much time doing that because I wanna to get to our project. So Santa and Friends is available in my Etsy shop, and you can download it as a full PDF file and print each of the pages. And then I'm also offering a download option for the PNG files if you would rather print that way so or download that way so there are quite I, I know there there are 15 pages in total with a freebie that you'll get if you purchase the kit or you can get for free that one sheet one sheet for free on buy me a copy I'll show you that sheet at the end but there are quite a few of these kinds of pages that you really can use for any types of projects, if you want to make a large journal, these will fold in half nicely. Let me count really quick. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight of those. So if you then print a neutral on the back or something on the back, um, you, you would have a, a, a nice holiday journal. And then there are some ephemera pieces, so some envelopes, some tags, some little banners, another sheet, different images. So I did three, three pages kind of with that same envelope, different patterns though in the tags. And then I've got this set of tags, which is my, probably maybe my favorite. I love, it's got a Christmas tree, a gnome, four different snowmen and a Santa. So I love that. And then this set of tags is just a variety of Christmas trees. And then this one is just a partial Christmas tree with that pretty bird. So I think those will be good to add into journals. These are going to be great to print and then tie them to your packages because on the back you can write, you know, to from or a little message. All of the tags, of course, you could use that way. And then I've got two pages. Um, the words are the same, just in two different sizes for you. So just some Christmas type words. And this one has another envelope for you, which will be great for gift cards, um, to give money, to add into a journal as a flip or a page. So lots of options. And then this page has some circles, smaller banners and a couple of squares. And then the coordinating freebie are these really fun, I think these are did I do three inch or three and a half inches? I can't remember. Three and a half inch squares. You get two Christmas trees, a snowman, and three Santas. So um, some of the images repeat, you know, from the pages to the elements. I like that because I think it helps it coordinate and it's fun. And then you have them in different sizes. But that's something to be aware of. You're going to be able to go get this on Buy Me a Coffee, this one sheet for free. If you purchase the kit on Etsy, th this will be included in there so you don't have to download from a second site. Okay, so hope you'll go check that out. Everything will be linked for you below in the video. And I appreciate it if you do use my affiliate link because that helps me out a little bit with Etsy as well. So, and they give me a few pennies, no cost to you um, if you do make a purchase through that link. Okay. So let's get to our one sheet wonder and we're gonna use these papers to decorate it with. So I'm excited. All right, so set that one aside. So again, you're gonna need a 12 by 12 piece of paper, but really you just need one that's six by 12. So cut yours in half or if you have a half sheet, that'll be perfect. We are gonna do a little bit of scoring. I will have all of the measurements for you in the description of the video so you can just enjoy watching or you can craft along with me if you want to refer to that. So the first thing we're going to do is score 
on the six inch side at one and a half inches. So here we go, one and a half inches. All right, and then turn it. And on that 12 inch side, we're gonna do three scores. We're gonna score it three inches, six inches, and nine inches. There we go. And I've done this same type of fold as a journaling spot, and you can do your orientation vertically and have it then flip out if, and have like the neutral paper to write in, or if you want it to flip up or down horizontally. But I decided to do it today in this horizontal orientation, add a pocket, do a pretty, um, a pretty page inside on this one I did the tree and then with a small a small spot for writing and my intent is that you could use this as a Christmas card if you wanted to or again in a holiday journal with some journaling space you could even tuck a gift card or some money in here you could add a pocket to one of the flaps so it's very versatile and I thought it will help kind of get the juices flowing all right we are going to make a cut and so I'm going to go ahead and fold my paper on my score lines and I'm going to ink on the white side for you guys so that it'll be easier to see where we're cutting. So again just make sure you line everything up as neatly as you can, no problem. And then I, I wanted to mention here too, you could use paper that is double-sided and that's not a problem and I'm still going to show you then how I layer the inside but if you want to use a piece that is uh, just single-sided this project lends itself really well to that because um, we're going to layer you know layer the paper on there the, the pretty pattern papers from the kit or whatever papers you want to use so it does give you some options. Okay, so I am inking along that one and a half inch score line we did on the six inch side. And then I inked right here at that three inch. It really doesn't matter which end um, because we are going to cut out this entire section here. If you guys can see the pencil. That is what we're cutting out is right in here. And so you want to just take your scissors and again, as neat as you can, cut out the score line. So that means cut a little bit, just a titch to the left of where your crease was so that you don't leave that kind of foldy paper behind. The little foldy paper edgy will be on the piece that we cut away. And I, of course, always save save this piece. I might use it to decorate. We might need it for something else, but you've got that to work with. All right, so now let's see what we have. And again, I do, it's, it's basically an, an accordion fold, right? This is gonna flip over. And I like mine, like I said, to be horizontal. And this is where we're gonna layer some paper. And then if you look on this side, of course, it'll be the pretty pattern paper. You, I guess you could decorate that side too if you wanted to, but that's what it's gonna look like, okay? Now I am going to go ahead and round these corners. This part is optional. I'm gonna use my half inch. You could do a different size corner round or none at all. I think it just gives it a little bit of a finished look. I think it's Julie at Camellia Craft that says the the corner, the sharp corners offend her. And I just think that is so funny. The first time I heard her say that a long time ago, I, I watch probably all of her videos, but um, I just laughed because I thought, oh, they're offensive. Okay, that was fun. Okay, and I'm just gonna add a touch of ink as we go. I'm using my Distress Ink and Walnut Stain. I've asked you guys this before, but does anybody else have a favorite brown Distress Stain? <laughs> or is it just me? Am I the only one? I might be. Now, I do want to go ahead, because I want to ink 
on the white side on my fold lines. And in fact, we may later be going back and adding even a little more ink depending on when we layer our Santa or our friend, whoever we decide to put in there. I like to have a little bit of ink here just so it's not so bright white because I'm not gonna come right to the edges. But you can add this later or not at all. I'm gonna go ahead because I know I'm gonna want it. And I may need more, but we'll see. Okay, so we are going to, again, just to remind you where we're at, I fold it the other way because I like to have it like this and then fold down. So if you have yours oriented the way I do, you're gonna have your, your cover flap here to the right and it's gonna open up on this side. And we're gonna pick our papers to layer in here. So the pages, in the, if you're using this kit, that are the, these si this size. When we cut this out, it pretty much is gonna fit in three of these squares, just about. I used the tree in the first one that I did, and I think I wanna use, I love that reindeer. I think I want to use a snowman or a Santa. I haven't decided, he looks kind of happy, but this one with his little cheeks, let's use this one, with his little cheeks. And we'll have to trim him off just a little bit. But I haven't prepped the papers or anything. We're just gonna do everything together, but it won't take too long. It's not, th this is just the fun part of the project decorating. And we'll make the closure, of course, for the front. But I'm gonna use my ruler, because I kinda like that little bit of a rough edge, but I am I am gonna be try to be careful and tear straight. <laughs> I say that as my paper flip flops on me. Let's see, this is a super skinny border for some reason the way it printed. Okay, and again I'm gonna want them to fit in here, he's a little bit smaller. So now I have to decide, do I wanna cut off more of his presence or a little more of his hat? I think since I just went to so much effort to trim off that side, we're just going to trim off the presence and it'll be okay. There we go. So this is now the right width to fit. We're gonna save this page. And I'm gonna trim off the white here. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I want to, the tree, the tree was probably a little bit better option because I didn't have to worry like about cutting off Santa's face. <laughs> but I'm going to tear Santa and I'm gonna use a pretty significant portion of Santa for the first square, our rectangle. All right, so there he goes. Huh? I think he'll forgive me. And then when we layer him here, you're, you're still gonna get the illusion that he's all there. Now this one, I have the choice if I wanna make these two sections exactly the same and then just have a little more of a border. I can bring this down and we could add a little border of paper there. Maybe we'll do that. We're gonna, I'm, I'm gonna bring that down. I'm gonna tear this section to almost completely fill the rectangle. There we go. And then this bottom section, if we need it, we'll add a little extra piece of paper. This is gonna be the section I'm gonna leave for you to write a sentiment, some journaling, a message, whatever you want to. And we'll put just like a kind of a neutral piece of journal kind of paper there, okay? So I'm going to ink around these edges and we're gonna glue Santa down. And if you want to add more embellishments, Go for it. You know, if you want to add some little tags, if you want to add some words, you could grab some of the Christmas words. I can't even remember what all I did on the inside of that one, but we'll, we'll get to it and maybe add some words or, like I said, some other papers if we feel we need them. 
to make it look extra special. So I am going to go ahead, I'm gonna use my PVA line co glue, wet white glue, use whatever glue you'd like. This A glue stick would be fine for this. If you would like to see some of the supplies I use, please check out my Amazon storefront. Uh, you'll find uh, a link to my, my Amazon store, and then you can look at some of my favorite supplies and things that I use. Uh, it is an affiliate link. Again, Amazon will give me a couple of pennies, no cost to you if you end up deciding to make a purchase. But it's not, it, please don't feel any pressure. Just if you wanna go take a look, it's there for you as a resource. Okay, fun. So I am so happy making Christmas crafts, even though it's October. But I, I like to get these out early enough for you guys in case you, you wanna make them so you have time. We're all really busy this time of year and I'm sure I'll be doing Christmas projects well into the season, but it is, it is nice to have some of them a little early, I think and um, to let you have time to decide where you want to spend your time with your holiday crafting. Oh, he's so cute. All right, I've got over here, just in my pile, I think I do anyway, a piece of just neutral paper. Oh, here, here's some copy eye paper. We'll just use this. And tear a section to be that journaling space and we can decorate it a little bit if we want to. I am going to use the paper here just to help me line it up as straight as even as I can and just get us a piece to layer in here. And I think it's gonna look great. And if you don't have coffee dyed paper, Again, you could put a little piece of ledger paper, notebook paper, I'm gonna glue on this side. Uh, you can ink around this, which I just skipped that step, but that's all right. Anything you like could go here. If you've got a neutral paper, scrapbook paper, something like that. Okay, that way it's just not the bright, bright white. And I've gotta decide if I'm gonna put a little strip of something, something. I might or from the kit, we'll see. All right. So cute. So now we're gonna get to do the fun part about doing the front. Now I did, let's just remind ourselves, I added a pocket and put a couple of tags there on the front. Here I put just a little piece of paper to kind of decorate. I did put one of the banners and some words up there. The tree had more uh, open space. So we'll think about that. I layered some paper on this side of the, the tab. So we still got quite a few things that I, that I wanna do. So let me look at my papers. Let me bring them back over here. This will be a good sheet to do some of that layering. I don't think I need any of those. Here's the words. I do want to find something that I can use, and it may be this sheet as well, to make the little pocket out of. So let's go ahead and do that, and then we can add some words. The, the present will be on its side a little bit, but it's still adding those colors in here, I think will be really nice. So let's see what that looks like. I'm gonna use my grid and I'm going to make the width of my pocket one and a quarter inches. Again, just using the, the, the lines here to make sure I'm straight and to get one and a quarter inch strip to make a pocket. I think I'm gonna be fine with the present on its side. Maybe we'll turn it this way because that's our orientation. So it'll just be a sliver of Santa's presents. And again, just using the, whoa, I'll trim that off. The actual folio here to help me get this torn to the right size. So it is one and a quarter inches wide and 
almost three inches because this is a three inch section. So think of it as like two and seven eighths, right? Like one little line under three, just so that it'll nestle in there. And we can then add a couple of something somethings, pieces of ephemera. This one I made a little bit wider. So if you want yours to be a little wider, make it a little wider. Instead of one and one quarter, make it one and a half. Again, feel free to do, do these projects the way you like so that, it, so that it looks and it makes you happy. I, I actually really love that with the plaid. I think that looks spectacular. Okay, the polka dots were super cute too. So we'll pick some tags here. Let's think about our uh, closure. And I really liked the circle to bring another shape in. And I think these freebies would be a good option for getting a circle. I got that snowman from one of these, probably from one of these tags, I believe. It's hard to tell. There's so many. And I'm going to get this one out because I'm going to cut a couple of those tags out to put in our pocket. But let's make a circle, a circle closure, maybe with the with this Santa. So I used, I think I did. Did I use this size? No, I don't, I don't think so. I think, I think it would be good if I got my punches out ahead of time. That is not it. Was it this one? I don't know, let's see if this seems to be the right size to, oh, that's a perfect size for Santa's head. All right, I'm gonna get his beard, his hat. There we go. Yeah, I made it a little smaller. It was the larger punch that I used last time. This one is one and three quarter inches. If you like this size better, that was a two inch circle, okay? So you choose. They really can be different and it really is okay. I am going to, this is just from a scrap or a piece that I had. I had actually, it's two layers thick, used it for this circle. And I was thinking about this design and you can see I ultimately decided that it was not the correct design. <laughs> But I'm going to use the paper to make this a nice, thick layer to put on our folio. And then the other thing you want to do is I'm going to use my one-inch punch. And again, I'm just using these, not because it has to be pretty paper. You could use any type of, you could use junk mail that has some thickness to it. You could use chipboard, you could use punch circles like from cereal boxes, whatever you have on hand, just to get some thickness. I don't know where my other circle, the one inch, I think it flew off my desk. I'm just cutting this so that my circle punch can reach. And you need several one inch circles or a smaller circle. It doesn't have to be one inch, but this is going to lift your this medallion up so that whatever type of baker's twine ribbon whatever you use for your closure it will lift it up some all right now i am going to ink definitely ink santa i'm going to glue all of these together and then do a little more inking but all you need to do this is already two pieces of scrapbook paper light cardstock thick. So now I have four. And then we're going to add Santa on top. So that's kind of like five layers. You just don't want this to be wimpy and flimsy because it is your closure. And I think it would look bad if this started, if that snowman started getting beat up. And at this thickness, he is nice. You'd really have to push on it to, to, Bold it, crease it. That makes sense. And I'm going to add extra ink around the edges. And you're not going to see this side. So again, you can use whatever looks good to you. Oh, he's so cute. 
Now, again, you have to decide how thick you want him to pop up. And I think I like that. It gives me plenty of room for my twine. So we're just gonna, these are gonna be two, six layers thick. I would say do at least four or five. It'll give you a little more real estate in there to wrap your twine around. And if you have a really thick twine, you actually might need a little more. My baker's twine, this one is super skinny. It's like a, got a little silver thread through it. I got out this green one because I thought that might look cute, but I also have the red on my desk. I think we'll use the green. But if yours is a thick twine, like if you decide to use like a natural twine like this that's thick, you're gonna need more room under there for it to fit and twist. So I hope that's making sense and helps you sort of decide what you need, but you can play with it. All right, so this circle is gonna get glued to this flap like that and I'm gonna let it really stick before we add the twine. So we're gonna just put that there. We're gonna let it dry really well. I'm gonna go ahead and stick Santa on. But again, we are not gonna mess with this for a while. We're gonna do some of the other parts of the project and then come back and add the twine because I do not want that coming apart. All right, I don't know if you guys can see that, how it's sort of lifted up. It already looks really cute to me. All right, I'm gonna tear another piece of paper that is just probably two and seven eighths, just a smidge under three inches by one and a half inches to line this because I just, I would rather it not be white. I would rather it match. I could line it with the actual scrapbook paper. That would be fine. I'm gonna use, if this is, the right, it's a little bit narrow. So I'm gonna just tear us another piece that is the right, or cut a piece that's the right size. That I said that was one and a half inches. So we'll just use a little piece of this. And I'm not too worried about the pattern. I'll just use some of the music. And smidge less than three. Let's see how I did. I think when I round the corners, it's going to fit in here nicely. And all of the, these pieces are, are optional. Again, if you chose to use a two-sided piece of scrapbook paper, you can layer your, your designs and things on there if you want to. I need to trim this just a little bit. It was just a little too too wide. Um, you know, you don't have you won't have to do all this layering. So again, use the supplies that you have. I don't have on hand right now a lot of Christmas scrapbook paper that is two sided. I've I've actually ordered some because I'm still making things for my craft fair. And, but, but I already know what I'm going to use most of that for. I still have some tea favors I want to make and a few things. And so I'm using the paper that I have and that I think is beautiful, but just happens to be white on the back side. Okay. Very cute. And if we want to add a Christmas word, that might be a fun place to add it too. All right. I'm going to hop back over to the pages. I said I kept out a few of the tags. And I do need to use some of the smaller ones because this isn't a very big pocket. Now you can print these at a smaller percentage and get smaller tags if you want some more of the smaller size. But I'm just going to grab these two Santas right here and quickly cut them out and we're gonna use these because I think these are gonna be at least close to the size that I need and I apologize that I did not cut these out ahead of time. Sometimes I'm a little more prepared than others. 
And I want to say to you, um, I shared, ooh, I just actually snipped the tag just a touch. I shared with you guys in one of my, I think my last video that went up, I, I get, sometimes I film these in a different order than I actually post them. But anyway, I had shared with you guys some of the concerns when people leave negative comments and especially over things that are really hard for me to change, like what my voice sounds like. <laughs> I can't change that. Um, but again, the say using um too much or hesitating, those types of things. And you guys were very supportive and left me very sweet, kind comments. And I appreciate it. I didn't necessarily share it because I, I was hungry for reinforcement, but it, it does help. And thank you guys. And like I said, I really like this space to be positive and fun and where we can be kind to one another. So that is my goal always. So thank you guys. Oh, it's so cute. Let me grab the words. We have the words in two sizes, which is makes me happy without having to change what you do with your printer. And on this one, I used the smaller size on the outside and then a larger one inside because that's what worked. But um, I am going to find my scissors. I think I'm going to put ho, ho, ho on the outside of this one. And when you're looking at this, especially in the video, it may look like the words are printed in black, but they're not. They're actually printed in a very dark green that coordinates with the papers. So just as a little FYI, if you're still watching and listening, you will know that it is dark green and not black. All right. Like I said, I think I'm going to use these as a really special Christmas card for a few folks in my life. I, I think it's a nice change from a regular or a standard card, even though I, I love a card. I do. I love a card. But I think it will be fun to give one of these to somebody special. So, all right, I'm going to cut out one of these little tags, maybe the Christmas tree, the little banner flag kind of looking guys. And again, I have these in a couple of different sizes in the kit. And if you need one of the larger one smaller again you can print at a different at a different percentage i also have started i think you most of you know this i've started offering some of my digital kits for people that don't have printers in a printed format i ask y'all's opinion and about half of you said i already i have a printer i print at home so it's not of interest and then it's a very small percentage said, no, no, it's too expensive. And it is expensive. So that no, no harm, no foul. I asked you if you guys thought it was too expensive. Um, but it was only a small percentage that responded. Everybody else responded either absolutely completely interested or it just depends on the kit, which fair enough, right? Some kits we want, some kits we don't want. So anyway, I already have a couple with that as an option, and it works out to a dollar a page. So again, it's expensive, but that's what I have to charge to make it work for me as my small business. I'm going to tear a little piece of this off, have some torn edge up there. And so anyway, that and that is... So it basically it works out to a dollar a page. So depending on the size of the kit, this one with the freebie is 16 pages. So it would be $16. And then I do offer if you spend $35 or more in my shop free shipping. So again, some of my kits, there's the fall gratitude one. If you order it printed, it ships free because it's over $35. I think it's 37 or something. Anyway, but with the shipping for that and then my time, the paper, the ink, all of that. That, that's what it worked out to. So anyway, I'm going to make sure I list this. If it's not already, it will be very soon as an option for those of you that would like to purchase where I print it and then mail it to you. So it's like a print and ship option. And so just putting that out there. 
for those of you that might need it or want it. Okay, there, that looks fun. It almost looks like just a little piece of garland or something up there. All right, I could see, again, depending on how I'm gonna use this, going back maybe with some liquid pearls and some fun things and really, really snazz it up. Oh, we gotta put our, our twine on there and then we'll be done. So the way you attach this, very easy. It does work better if you have something kind of thin. So this one, I showed you guys this one that I use all the time. This would be a good option if you wanted neutral. But I just gently get it up under the, the, the layer of circle and I'm gonna tie it on. So again, don't pull super hard. You don't have to like, <laughs> you know, you, use all your strength. Just get it in there nice and snug. Make sure that it's knotted and you can leave it hanging. Sometimes that is confusing for the person using it. So a lot of times I'll, I'll cut, either cut it all under there if I know I've got the knot good or, you know, just leave it a little short so you know that's not the one you, you pull. And then I'm going to wrap it one, two, and then I like to come up like that. And that's plenty of string. Now I cut extra because I do like to put a little knot here just to make sure it doesn't ravel. And it gives that little bit of a nod to, yeah, this is the one you're going to pull. <laughs> our wind. I decided to double it. Now it's, of course, wiggling on me. All right. All right. It's got two knots. It's fine. Cute. All right. So Santa and friends. So this one I did all Santas, right? And a Christmas tree. All Santas. This one I did a snowman. I did two Santas. And I did a big Christmas tree and a reindeer. So lots of options. I hope you guys like this. I hope you will make some and have fun. Um, I will do some other projects with this new paper kit. Let me know if there's something in particular you'd like to see. I love when you guys ask for or make requests. I do my best to honor those when I can and it gets me thinking and sometimes it challenges me which is fun too. All right so you guys have a great day. If you haven't already please leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. All those little things help me as a creator and I appreciate you guys. You're the best. Have a great day.